everybody. Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all you, watching the puppies play. That bed was made earlier. It's not anymore. They've already been out twice. Oh my goodness. Well, today, uh, I'm sitting here looking at this big thing of carpet. I gotta get this carpet thing done. I gotta get it down. That means I'm gonna have to move basically everything. I'm gonna have to move like half the cabin to the other side of the cabin and do it. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. And who knows what else I'll get done. But, uh, yeah, got to go check the chickens first. And, well, I don't know. Just see what today brings. Somebody was making a lot of noise in there. Let's see what's going on, chickens. Hello. Hello. Today they get a special treat of sardines and oats. I'm trying to not spoil them too much on the Grubterra soldier fly larva because they just eat, they just will eat those all up. Eat them all up right away. They do like the sardines though. Yes, indeed. Hi there, Roxy. Hello. All right, let's go check the eggs out. Let's see what we got. Okay, so far up here, up top where they roost, where there's a bunch of poop, We've got one nice big egg. Oh yeah, look at this, I'm gonna have to clean all this up. <gasps> and two more and a brown egg in here. Wonderful, all right, let's go check the back. Well, they've knocked over one nesting box, so I'm not gonna keep putting it up there. They've done that more than once. And there's nothing in here. And there's nothing in the one that turned over. You know what, I may go ahead and take this one outside and put it in that little covered chicken run thingy. Yep, they're checking it out. I'm just going to put this one in here. They weren't using all three of the boxes anyhow. Looks like I like it. I don't think I'm going to get any more eggs from the leghorns today because I already got three white ones. And that one brown one. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. This girl right here. This big beautiful girl. Last night I was over at Mr. Lucas and sitting and chatting. And then I saw this one run from my neighbor's property. I mean, she was hot tailing it back down the hill and over to the chicken yard, up into the coop. I went over there and about a half an hour later and checked and yep, she had laid me a little brown egg. I don't know if you all, I was gonna try and show you the beautiful kind of turquoise hue of her feathers, it's so pretty. And then there's Coco. Yep, they have taken over the leghorns inside. Look at Roxy. She was making some noise earlier, so I don't know if we're going to get another brown egg today or not. But I figured, why not? Why not just put a box out here? You never know. What's up, Romeo? Romeo and Coco. Look at those two. They're just so pretty. Look, look. Hi, Romeo. <laughs> he doesn't like me getting too close. Oh. I just love these dickens. Look at how big Coco's gotten. Look at her feathers. Can you see? Oh, she's so pretty. All right, place your bets. You think this barred rock is gonna lay an egg? Oh, wow. It might be hard for you to see because I can't get the sun to shine on it the right way, but it looks like the brown eggs are starting to get a little bit bigger. They've been pretty small, but yep, that's today's egg haul. There's a better view of the four of them, see? The brown egg is almost caught up to the white leghorn eggs, so very, very happy about these eggs. <sighs> okay, I got it down, and it fills this whole area. I haven't put these back down yet because, as you can see, I've got a moisture problem down there, so I'm going to have to prop this up, and it's just because uh, the propane heater is in this area, and it just makes everything wet, so I'm going to have to put some spacers up underneath that carpeting and get it dried out. Before I put those back down, they'll need to dry. But it fills this whole space, which is nice. Um, I'll still need to do some adjusting. Yeah, trying to get it up underneath of these. I had to basically just move everything. Was a chore. What do you think, Judy? You like it? I love it. I love it, love it. It's brighter in here now. What do you think, Papa? Yep. And so, yeah, it goes all the way over here. I'm not going to show you the kitchen. This area I still gotta get organized and whatnot, but um, it comes all the way out <laughs> to here. Yeah, to here. So that's quite a big rug. Gonna be so much easier for me to care for. Oh my goodness. 
All right, so I need to sit down in my beautiful little chair and take a rest. I figured I'd show you my poison ivy. Yup, in the bend of my arm. I can't believe I got it. I was being so careful how I got it. Andy, when Andy was over here cutting down that big tree, it was covered in poison ivy vines, and I had gloves on specifically for that purpose. But just kind of haphazardly, I scratched my arm, and yup, it spread that gross stuff on my arm and now I've got poison ivy and it's driving me crazy. Last night I woke up in the middle of the night and I was just scratching, scratching, scratching it. So I hope it goes away quickly. I'm just cleaning it with pure alcohol. It dries it. I know that's not always the best thing, but that's what I'm using and covering it with that pink calamine lotion and it seems to kind of relieve it for a little while but it doesn't last very long so this I just oh my goodness I hope it clears up soon because it is driving me crazy the day is drawing to a close the chickens are still out free ranging for a little bit it's been a beautiful beautiful sunny day out here on the Anne's Tiny Life homestead I went over and visited with Mr. Lucas for a little while and um, his chickens his chickens, I think they're bigger than mine. I mean, they were raised by me, but his chickens are bigger. And maybe because mine free range and get more uh, exercise and whatnot. Anyhow, yeah, the doggies are out playing. Judy, Judy almost got a chicken today. And um, I had her out on the long lead. And there is virtually nowhere I can put her where she can't cause trouble. So I'm going to have to figure that out. I need some fencing or something. Um, I don't even know if that will contain her. She is just such a higher energy dog. But you know what? When, when she calms down, she loves to snuggle. So I love her. You know, she's a good dog. Papa, you know, he just follows me around everywhere I go. It doesn't matter where I go. He will just be right by my side. If he goes off into the woods, he doesn't like to do like number two on the general property area, he'll go out in the woods and he will do it like way over there and then he'll come back and he'll feel happy. He'll come trouncing through the, the brush and whatnot. I know that's gonna have to stop once he starts his heartworm treatment because he is not allowed to run or do any you know, um, activity and whatnot. So when I take him out, I'll take him out probably on a lead and uh, let him do his business and then bring him back inside and let him rest. So, I don't know. That's uh, something i got to figure out. So, But he's a good dog. He comes to me when I call him. And he's over there just kind of look at, looking at the chickens. He's very good with the chickens. Very, very good with the chickens. Anyhow, well, I'm just going to sit out here on my porch for a little while longer and just enjoy the sunshine and see you in the next video oh i'm supposed to say that's all i got for you guys today see you in the next video